Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try to graph the equation r equals 1 plus the sine of theta. Again, we set up a table of values. We start with the angle theta, 0 degrees. Typically, we want to go all the way to 360 degrees unless the function repeats itself after we reach 180 degrees like we saw in the previous video. But here we'll need to go all the way from 0 to 360 degrees. We find the sine of that angle and then we add 1 to that in each case because r equals 1 plus the sine of theta. So let's find the points that will then allow us to form a graph representing that equation. First of all, when the angle is equal to, theta, to 0 degrees, it's along the x-axis, we see that r will then be equal to 1. So it'll be right here. At a 45 degree angle, we can see that the function will now be 1.707. So it's almost equal to 2, so it's about right there. And then, when the angle is 90 degrees, which is along the positive y-axis, the function equals 2. Then when we continue 135 degrees, which is along this line, the function again reduced to 1.707, which is right about there. And then, when the angle is 180 degrees, that's along the negative x-axis, then the function equals 1. Then when we go all the way to 225 degrees, the function now is just slightly over zero, about 0.3. So that would be at 225 degrees. The function is right here. And then finally, when two, at 270 degrees, the function equals zero, which puts us right at the origin. So if you connect these points right here, you can see you end up with something that looks like this. But continuing on at 315 degrees, which is along this line right here, the function again is point, roughly 0.3, which is right here. And then finally, when we get to 360 degrees all the way around, the function is back to this point right here. So when we connect all those dots, we end up with something that looks like this. To the origin, then back, and like that. So that's what the function r equals 1 plus sine of theta looks like. Of course, freehand drawing doesn't look quite perfect, but it's close enough to get us a pretty good idea. And that's how we go about finding the graph corresponding to a polar function like that. That's how it's done.